heading out the field this morning to chase some geese off it. Um, it's a field of wheat and at this time of year you always get geese landing um, and they eat it and they damage it and then reduces the yield come uh, harvest time so you need to keep on top of them. They will disappear again in a few weeks when they uh, migrate back to Iceland and Greenland so we've just got to keep an eye on it. We could get um, gas bangers that make a loud noise every every couple of hours or so but uh, we don't have any and these fields are kind of on our doorstep so it doesn't take long to nip up. We shifted the majority of the wheat in the other video you saw but we kept about 30 ton here, not quite 25 ton uh, and that will keep the hens going until harvest again and we've got more wheat. The hens consume about 100 ton of wheat per year and then soy on top of that, limestone and minerals. That's where the pit for the dryer is. Just um, put metal sheets over the top of it and then the tarpaulins as well, just to stop any dust and stew getting in about it and causing bother at harvest time. Because we had the dryer going last week, just going to clean it out just now, make sure there's no wheat left in it. There'll be wee pockets at the bottom of elevators and whatnot. So we'll clean them out, make sure it's ready to go for harvest time. Taking this cover off the bottom of the main elevator and you can see there's pockets of wheat at the base. So that's why I need to clear it out. Just means that come the next crop it won't be contaminated with this wheat. You were able to see the elevator buckets. So what they do, they come down, they're all in a big belt, come down, scoop whatever crops at the bottom, carry it up to the top, right up to the very top of that elevator where there's a valve which switches position from going either sending it off into the shed or sending it back into the dryer hopper. This is the bottom elevator. Grain travels up that spout and lands in the bottom of the elevator I just showed you. So these are a big belt with paddles on it. And they just draw the grain up the hill. So dryer all cleaned up, ready for harvest, come August time. My steel's all dried. The second part of this project's arriving today, actually. I just worked out how many seeds we sowed in that field. That was the quiz question for last video. And the answer is 52 million seeds. And the way, to, the way we find out is the seed that arrives, it comes with a thousand grain weight. So we know the weight of 1,000 gra 1, grains, which was 54 grams. And we also know how much weight we sowed in the, the whole field. So 52 million. This is oilseed rape. Tiny wee dark circles filled with oil. Uh, there's a load of this just going away just now. Come along the road with a forklift. We'll get that loaded. I mentioned in the last video where all those stones were, we're probably going to build a new shed and that'll be so we don't need to store oilseed rape and things like that in tight spaces that aren't that good for getting in new bigger machinery at the moment. Just waiting on the lorry coming, that's the new stores that arrived yesterday and we need to go and check uh, there's 10 in here that some of the passports have been wrong that we got from the market so we're going to go and take all the numbers while we wait for the lorry. So that was just a video of a container arriving. That's the second part of 
the project with all that steel. Um, there's a load of oilseed rape that just went away along the road. It's heading up to Aberdeen for to be stored, then it'll go out sometime in the future on a boat um, to another continent, not sure where. I'm just taking the old forklift along to a different farm and it only goes 25 kilometers an hour. It takes ages. Today's quiz question is, what brand of forklift am I in? I'll give you a clue. There's a song with the lyrics. I'm Luke, I'm five, and my dad's Bruce Lee drives me around in his. And there's your answer. Put it down in the comments. That's everything for this video. Don't forget to guess the brand of the forklifts we use. These ones. And it's also a song lyric. <laughs>